In 2011, I visited a patient to conduct home assessment. I introduced myself and explained my duty. I said I will visit every week. She refused the visit and my help, said she did not want people to know she was sick. But if I visited her, people would know. Her brother was not happy about that, but it was her decision to make and her right to refuse. I felt so disappointed because I saw how weak the patient was and her feet were swollen. It was the first time a patient refused help from me. I was worried that she would get worse and I decided to go back after a week to see how she was doing. When I entered the house, the smell of urine was all over the house. Immediately, I knew that the situation was bad. I immediately called an ambulance to take her to the day hospital. When I was waiting for an ambulance, I spoke to her brother and I discovered that she was diagnosed with HIV five years ago and she was pregnant that time. And with the help of mothers to mothers, she was on treatment to prevent transmission to the child. Luckily, her child was not infected. However, she stopped taking treatment. After childbirth, she then got sick. She was admitted at St. Luke's Hospice, but unfortunately, she passed away after two weeks. Her brother learned a valuable lesson because he is also HIV positive and he adherent to his treatment. Adherent to the treatment is very important and it's the best way of living a healthy life. If she didn't stop taking her treatment, maybe she would still be alive and see her child grow up.